This video includes a paid sponsorship from Joa, but more on that later. I have lots of exciting Cybertruck updates to share with you today, including leaked final specs, which supposedly come from an inside source and include the dimensions, weight, capacities, etc., of the Cybertruck. And in addition to that, I wanna talk about some details that came out about the Cybertruck rear outlets, new potential Cybertruck wheel covers, and details about the Cybertruck going through H2O testing. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. A video was recently published on the TFL EV YouTube channel, and in this video, final specs for the Cybertruck were shared, and these numbers supposedly come from an inside source, so it's very likely that these are the final specs. Now, based on these new dimensions that were shared, it looks like the Cybertruck is going to be a little smaller um, than some of the prototypes that existed before. For instance, at MatthewDR on X.com shared the dimensions of a prototype um, several months ago. And previously that prototype had a length of around 231 inches, but the final version is reportedly around 223.2 inches long, making it size-wise smaller than the F-150 Lightning, but still bigger than the Rivian R1T. Beyond the exterior dimensions, the new official rear bed dimensions were also shared in this TFL EV video. We already knew that the Cybertruck bed was going to be over six feet in length, and now it looks like it's going to be six foot, eight inches long. And also really importantly, the width of the Cybertruck bed should be around 51 inches or so. So it should easily accommodate a four by eight foot sheet of plywood. These leaked specs also included the curb weight of the dual and tri-motor Cybertruck, with the dual motor Cybertruck weighing 6,670 pounds and the tri-motor Cybertruck weighing 6,890 pounds. These Cybertruck curb weight numbers do fit in with numbers that Elon Musk mentioned recently on the Joe Rogan podcast, when he mentioned that the Cybertruck would weigh somewhere around 7,000 pounds for the beast mode version, and that some versions would be closer to 6,000 pounds. Now, interestingly enough, based on these numbers, it looks like Tesla is going to have a single battery pack size for both the dual and tri-motor trucks. Previously, I thought that Tesla would have two different battery sizes, um, a slightly smaller pack for the dual motor version and a slightly larger pack for the tri-motor version. But it looks like that's not going to be the case because if you look at the weight difference here, there's only a 220 pound weight difference between the dual motor and tri-motor versions of the truck. And that 220 pound weight difference is not enough to make up for a larger battery pack, but it would make sense for the jump from a dual motor to a tri-motor powertrain. For example, if you look at Tesla's Model S right now, the dual motor version, that vehicle weighs 4,560 pounds, according to Tesla's website. But if you look at the Plaid Model S, that vehicle weighs 4,776 pounds, which is a 216 pound difference. So if there's a 216 pound difference for the Model S when it comes to dual motor to tri-motor, it makes complete sense that a 220 pound difference could be explained simply by a powertrain change. So if these numbers are correct, that means that Tesla is offering a single battery pack size for either the dual motor or tri-motor versions. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Joa, one of the world's leading providers of quality Tesla accessories designed to enhance your Tesla driving experience. Whether you own a Model 3, Y, S, or X, Joa has you covered with many great products, including their center console tray organizers to help keep your center console neat and clean. They're all weather floor liners with anti-skid backing and hook and loop fasteners for a secure fit a wireless game controller that's designed to take your Tesla arcade gaming experience to the next level, or for example, their foldable car tray that is easy to open and fold and conveniently stores in the Model 3 or Y front trunk or under the seats of a Model X or Y. Find these and many other great accessories for your Tesla by going over to joa-life.com forward slash cleanerwatt and using this link will automatically load in the discount code cleanerwatt which will save you 5% off your purchase. I will put this link in the video description below and do note that I do earn a commission on any Joa purchase you make using this link, which does help support this channel. Now in a previous video, I talked about payload capacity and we just went off of the estimates that Elon Musk gave in that Joe Rogan podcast. 
And of course, as I mentioned in that past video, Electrek recently shared a Tesla VIN decoder. And in that VIN decoder, it showed two weight classes of the Cybertruck when it comes to the gross vehicle weight rating. One was class G, which covers a gross vehicle weight rating of 8,001 to 9,000 pounds. And the second was class H, which covers a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,001 pounds to 10,000 pounds. But nonetheless, even if you go up to the higher gross vehicle weight rating of up to 10,000 pounds, even if Tesla offers a dual motor version of the Cybertruck with a rating of up to 10,000 pounds of gross vehicle weight, that still would not allow the Cybertruck to have a 3,500 pound payload capacity. So it looks like the Cybertruck payload capacity will not reach 3,500 pounds. And I still estimate that its payload will be between 2,000 and 3,000 pounds, which once again, compared to the competition is still very competitive. Beyond that, the weight of the Cybertruck is very comparable, as you can see in this chart, to other electric pickup trucks like the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T. And once again, it's quite a bit lighter than the very heavy Hummer EV truck. In addition to that, it looks like the Cybertruck will be able to tow up to 11,000 pounds. But keep in mind that if the maximum is 11,000 pounds of towing capacity, there will likely be specs of the truck that will have a lower towing capacity based on either the powertrain, the wheels, tires, etc. So that'll be the maximum. And despite being lower than the 14,000 plus pounds that were announced initially, 11,000 pounds of towing capacity is still very impressive. And when you compare the up to 11,000 pound tow rating of the Cybertruck to the F-150 Lightning, for example, depending on what spec of the truck you get, your tow rating will be somewhere between 7,700 pounds all the way up to 10,000 pounds. And when it comes to the combustion engine version of the F-150, the towing capacity will be rated somewhere between 8,200 pounds up to 14,000 pounds, once again, depending on your configuration. These leaked specs also included the fact that the Cybertruck front trunk would include 7.1 cubic feet of storage volume and that the weight limit of the front trunk would be 420 pounds. This falls into my expectations because as you've likely seen, there have been several images shared of the Cybertruck's front trunk, including this image that was shared by Ben, who goes by Old Spice on the Cybertruck Owners Club forum. And you can see that the Cybertruck front trunk is not very deep, but it still is quite wide and quite usable and over seven cubic feet of storage capacity in the front of the truck is still going to be great. Obviously though, it's not going to be nearly as large as the F-150 Lightning. For reference, in addition to the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Hummer EV truck and the Rivian R1T both also have larger front trunks than the Cybertruck. And for a comparison that a lot of people might be familiar with, the Tesla Model X has a front trunk capacity of 6.5 cubic feet. So the Cybertruck's front trunk is just a little bit bigger than that. This leak also included interior dimensions of the Cybertruck. And based on these dimensions, the Cybertruck interior should be somewhat spacious, but beyond the Cybertruck having a bit more headroom in the front seat, the Ford F-150 Lightning appears to have a roomier cabin. So as you can see on this chart, while the Cybertruck will have a bit more headroom than the Ford F-150 Lightning in the front seat, when it comes to the back seat, the F-150 Lightning has more headroom. And when it comes to leg room, shoulder room, and hip room for the front and back seats of these trucks, the Ford F-150 Lightning will have more room in all of those categories over the Cybertruck. Now beyond those dimensions, this TFL EV video also shared this image, which shows beyond this flap in the rear bed of the Cybertruck, it will have two 120 volt outlets and one 220 volt outlet. In this video, they zoomed in and it looks like under the 220 volt outlet, it says that there is a rating of two kilowatts, which isn't a lot, but it is sufficient for a lot of devices. Nonetheless, one thing that is a little bit disappointing is it doesn't look like the Cybertruck is going to have a built-in air compressor um, in the back of the truck, like was expected. When it comes to how the power outlets of the Cybertruck compare to the Ford F-150 Lightning, the F-150 Lightning is quite a bit ahead in this category, because if that two kilowatt rating is accurate for the Cybertruck, the base level of the F-150 Lightning offers eight 120 volt outlets and a 2.4 kilowatt power rating. Beyond that though, you can upgrade to a 9.6 kilowatt system. And with that configuration, the truck includes 11 120 volt outlets and a 240 volt outlet. Hopefully like Ford, Tesla will offer a higher power option because while 2000 watts is pretty decent for a 120 volt outlet. When it comes to a 220 volt outlet, 2000 watts 
really isn't that much. And if you're going to use a Cybertruck to try to back up your home, charge another electric vehicle, or power a lot of tools on the job site, 2000 watts is really not going to cut it. So once again, hopefully Tesla will offer an upgrade with more power. Now beyond that, Joe Tegmeyer on X.com recently posted these four images from Gigafactory, Texas. And in this post, he wrote, Cybertruck News, word at the factory is customer production of Cybertruck began earlier this week. While I was pretty sure that customer production of the Cybertruck had already begun, it's good to see confirmation of this, and it does make a lot of sense. Since the Tesla Cybertruck delivery event is scheduled for November 30th, which really isn't that far away from now. In addition, Joe Tegmeyer posted these images on x.com of the Tesla Cybertruck. And in that close up image of the Cybertruck wheel, it looks like there are some silver highlights on the wheel cover, which is slightly different from what we've seen before. In a recent video shared on his YouTube channel, Joe Tegmeyer also shared footage of the Cybertruck being prepared for water testing, water leak testing. And Joe Tegmeyer referred to this as a rainmaker and Tesla uses this rainmaker to um, spray high pressure water on a vehicle when it drives in to make sure there are no leaks before it is ready for a customer. As a little bonus, as the Cybertruck was turning around to drive up in front of this Rainmaker machine, you can see just how tight the turning radius of the Cybertruck is with rear wheel steering. As a reminder, don't forget to go check out what Joa has to offer when it comes to Tesla accessories. And if you click the link in the video description, you can save 5% off your purchase. And Joa gives me a commission off that purchase, which helps support this channel. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.